So my dad um, is about to get evicted from his home, which he's lived in Dover Heights for um, over 40 years. And um, as his son, I've explored every opportunity to um, find justice for him. He's a former real estate agent, um, has defrauded him of over $4 million worth of assets. And every angle that we have pursued through the legal system has not been able to, not been able to provide justice for him. So um, we're here waiting outside his home um, for him to be evicted, um, potentially with force. So what sort of hit you in the state today the hardest? Is just how hard you've worked to date and then now to be honest, to the point to be, where it's... It's just the fact that, it, that there's nothing that anyone that cares for him and his best interest can do. It's been taken from us. We've had no th authority throughout this whole process. And I just find that unacceptable. And we've come to this, this sort of climax today where my dad's about to get kicked out of his home because of the fraudulent actions of another man. Now, there's nothing that can, um, you know, justify that. And instead, they look at a few you know, documents that are submitted by a man who's clearly been fraudulent, yet those documents are still, you know, they still uphold their integrity. And that's, that just baffles me. And it just baffles everyone here. We just don't understand how you can own your home one second and then lose it because of someone else doing these steps. And these are steps that, you know, the Attorney General and the Police Commission don't seem to be concerned about because they're prepared to let my dad get evicted today and not, you know, respond. I, I, I guess I feel like I have done everything I can do. And I think what frustrates me is that you know, as a son, you sort of look at all the emotional responses and whether or not you should take matters into your own hands and things like that. And we've done everything by the book, you know, followed all the legal procedures that are expected of us. And still we're left in this, you know, scenario one year later where, you know, it's pretty much just been left to us to sort of move dad out and just say, you know, oh, we're sorry, you've just lost a lifetime of work and, you know, move on. You know, people get taken advantage of and that's kind of the the cop-out answer that we're being given here. Yeah, there's an organisation called Fix New South Wales Legal. I, I talked to them about it yesterday afternoon. They said they, they're currently tracking about 27 cases like this um, with, with elderly people who've been uh, dispos dispossessed of their home, of their business, of their assets um, by trustees um, but uh, and including the state guardian, um, the uh, state trustee. And, you know, the fact that the law is constructed like that is an absolute ass. They do this to children, they do it under the Mental Health Act, and they do it to mentally, to what they classify as mentally impaired people, you know? And it's relying on psychologists, it's, you know, these people all work for the same system. And, um, you know, there needs to be some independent oversight of that. Um, that's, that stands aside from those trustees. Um, you know, I, I question how they can how they can possibly transfer someone's assets without good reason into their name and not be held accountable for that. Yeah? Um, as as apparently is the case in this case. Why would why would that? Yeah. But even just on it, you know, the, leg the legalities of it, even aside from moment, on a human level, you know, what appears to have been done to George is just. A, it's hard to get your head around, isn't it? No, I think I think some people are just um, are just too tight. You know, they're just too tied up in the economics of the world. And you know, this is uh, one of the paradigms of society as we live that we live in today. You know, we uh, and we we have a government that's much more worried about money. Um, they the economy first. Um, you, you hardly ever hear Julia Gillard mention the people. Um, you hear her mention the economy at least 20 times a day. Well, if that's the case, people have the right to um, uh, to think much the same way. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened to Dad. Yeah. He's one of those people that's believed in the system, done everything that the system asked of him. Um, yeah, and then when he's needed the system that's yeah. run away. Yeah, right. that's precisely the, the, the summary, exactly. Mm. And I'm a little bit peeved by the fact that, you know, I have spoken to the Rose Bay local area commander, I think, earlier today. And if he had the sort of decency to sort of update me on the situation, he could at least come down now and... Well, he was here. Yeah, and would speak to me, you know what yeah. I mean, and just say, well, this is what's going on.